routine vlog. It's a little tricky today because I'm still out of all of my skincare. I got this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I don't even know when I'm supposed to use it. I just like want to see what it does. Um, I'm doing a little realistic winter morning routine. Oh, I also, I did pick up my super good blow screen yesterday though. Thank God. Like honestly guys, I like cannot live without this. I use Skin Better Moisturizer. Every morning I wake up and I try to wake up between like 6.30 to 7. In the winter months, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, well, it depends on my workout, but it is so hard for me to wake up. Like, I just cannot. It also depends, though, because I do work out at, like, 7.30 some days so that I'm up earlier. Today is Tuesday, and my workouts are a little bit later, so since I've been trying to become a runner, I have to do my runs Tuesday morning and then go to Pilates. Really fit morning. Skin is just so dry. I normally have, like, an incredible skincare routine, guys. I shared it on Instagram last week. I use like the Sonia Dakar Super Clear Serum and then I use All Summer Fridays when it arrives. I'll share with you guys because this is Vlogmas so you guys will see everything. Glow Screen and Golden Hour. I've said this a billion times in this vlog. Honestly, at least 500. Um, this is my Holy Grail product. I wear it every single day. I actually look more alive. The sun's not really out yet, but like, I don't know if I just put this on yet. Shade gently, mist two to three spritzes on a face for a boost of hydration and glow under or over makeup. So anyways, I normally, when I go on runs, will do Katie Trail, um, but I'm not gonna do that today, just for the sake of time. I think I'm gonna do, just like, do my own run here. Here's my outfit, okay, just try. My bedding is anthropology, by the way. Leggings are year of ours. I have hokas on. This top is Outdoor Voices, and this vest is Urban Outfitters. Oh, Mr. Fitzy. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Good boy. Good boy. Do you know everyone's watching you? Yes. Can you see? Yes. So many cords. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Something I have been trying to do lately is take my Amino Lean. So, this seems sponsored. It is not sponsored. I have the strawberry lemonade flavor. Or it's pink lemonade. Um, it's really good and it gives you like non jittery energy. And I'm trying to just drink water before I drink coffee uh, because that has not been going over so well for me lately. So, I just drink that. I also, I really need to get athletic greens. That's what I need to get. Maybe I'll order that today. There you go. No more coffee as soon as I wake up. It only is bad. It does bad things for me. Also, like, look at how cute these mugs are. Maybe that's why I want coffee every morning, you know? I'm gonna, like, revamp my coffee setup, though, for the winter time. I'm already in the middle of it. And I'm gonna be making incredible coffee about an hour at least after I wake up. But I'm very excited. Here we go. In the winter, I struggle so much more with my morning routine. I think just because it's cold and cozy and it's the holidays and I, like, don't want to do it at all. Um, but I do, I love a good routine. If you watch my channel, I love a good routine. Recently, in order to do my morning pages, which if you didn't know, you open your journal, you write a few pages straight, pen to paper, don't take your hand off the page. Even if you're writing, I don't know what to write about, it like helps so much. I can do a whole TikTok on like why it's just changed my life. Doing this especially, it's just like, all right, let's get on with the day. You know what I mean? So I make myself do it because I know I'll be happy that I did. And I'll get, a lot more like anxious and like I think I should like I don't know I'll just feel weird in the winter months anyway so I don't have seasonal depression I have that opposite for summer but the holidays just bring up a lot you know what I mean morning pages it is here we go <laughs> let me just tell you these morning pages they work I even did four pages it's where I get my best ideas okay like I I'm obsessed. It really helps a lot. So, anyways, I decided that I'm going to listen to Ed Milet because he really motivates me. Love that man. I don't know what I'm going to listen to. I think I'm going to do maybe high performance habits. I don't really know. I have headphones. I don't know where my Bose ones went, and those are the ones that I always use. I do have these other Sony ones that look the same. Um, so we'll be trying those out today. So, as I've said a billion times, I've been becoming a runner, and I'm on like a running plan, but couch to 5K this time. It was just taking too long, honestly, and I didn't have the patience, so now I'm just kind of doing my own thing where I'm like running in like higher increments every day. Wow. 
normally I only do workouts that I love, but I really want to love being a runner. So that is why I've been on this, you know, running journey. But I really want to be one of those people who just like gets up and runs. I think it'd be really good for my anxiety. And when I'm really anxious, I do crave running. So I feel like if I just, you know, incorporate it a few days a week. I also have a treadmill, so I'll also like do the treadmill sometimes uh, in my house. But it had like the <laughs> short circuit or whatever. And I was in the middle of it last time and I had to just like, run outside, like literally in the middle of it. And that was like, kind of embarrassing for some reason. So anyways, um, I'm like halfway through. Whew. Wow, can't wait for this to be over. I finished my like little run. It wasn't like a really big one. I normally only do one workout a day. The only reason I'm doing a little bit more in the mornings is because of my running challenge. I'm on my way to Pilates and I think after I might like stop and get breakfast somewhere because I really don't have great breakfast food, but I have gotten so many good ideas. I get so many great ideas when I do morning pages and then I get outside. One of my ideas, well, I have a lot for TikTok. The other idea though, just for the podcast ends, I think I want to do, uh, so I'm going to start doing a lot more solo episodes because a lot of you guys have been asking. And then I always get requests to have like a follower or like you guys will be like, can you have like a person with like a nine to five, like more normal job or whatever. Which I think that people are always requesting that because they want to be on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't tell who they want on when they say that. But what I'm going to do is when I do solo episodes, like, I'm going to fit, like, film, like, my fitness and wellness routine or whatever. I'm going to have y'all call in and leave voicemails and then answer it. So then we're also getting the perspective that you guys are asking for. Um, and being able to, like, incorporate viewers. You guys are kind of like the guests at the end of the episode, which I think will be really fun. But yeah, I'm on my way to Hot Pilates. If y'all are new here, I love Hot Pilates. It's one of my favorite workouts. I really alternate these days between running, weightlifting, and Hot Pilates. It's like 100 degrees in this room, and the class is 50 minutes, which I'm telling you, just that added five minutes from a 45 minute class to a 50 minute class makes it feel so much longer. I'm also a little bit hungry, but I don't like eating a lot before this class because it's just so hot. It kind of makes me sick. Um, like I get like, nauseous, you know? So I like working out really early in the morning because then this isn't an issue. I might try out this new like wellness healthy cafe for breakfast after we will see. Feeling good. I'm telling you, Ed Milet and that run and morning pages really turn my, turn my day around. Choir Todd. I'm out of hot Pilates. I am drenched. Because it's so hot, it really dries out my skin and it just like you sweat more than you've ever sweat before and then it makes it very red. I have this finish toned down at CB Few. CB Few. CB Do induced. Guys, infused facial mist. It's cooling, hydrating, and energizing. It's. A bottle will say three sprays, I say 10. We'll see if it helps. I think it has. Um, I really like finish actually, but it's like post workout skincare. It is so cozy out today. I'm about to get in the shower. Um, my skin is breaking out because I don't have a normal skincare, but I will say it looks and feels so much better since I used that spray after the workout class. Like it's noticeably done. Like when I walked in the bathroom, I was like, oh wow, like it really, really worked. I'll link it below. I've heard great things and um, I'm here to say I'm a fan. Get a shower. Oh my God, I hate getting ready. So I just changed. I threw on just some like sweatpants that look a little bit nicer. Um, Uggs, this sweater that I've been living in, it's from Favorite Daughter. I got it for Christmas last year. It's just like their brown cashmere sweater. I came with a matching scarf, but honestly, I just wear this, this actual sweater like every single day. And I decided I was gonna just curl my hair a little bit because I have realized that I feel so much better about myself when my hair is done. I don't even care about makeup. And since this is like a very realistic winter morning routine, I should have taken you guys with me to pick out my outfit, but I do that the night before. So that's why we were not like in my closet. Um, I normally don't actually, like if I don't have to get ready or like have makeup on until later that night, I don't do my makeup until the afternoon. So I don't really fully get ready until later. So this is very like realistic. Um, but as long as my hair like looks okay, 
I just, I feel better. And I did my skincare. Not my normal skincare, so I'm not even going into details because I don't have it right now. I just know I've been using All Summer Fridays and obviously Super Group Glow Screen. I do really like this Tatcha spray that I tried for the first time today. Let me know how you guys use it. Now we are off downstairs to make a little drink and get to work. Something even the grown-ups can. The carrot forest knows. Alright guys, I've been trying to make coffee and I'm having some drama with my Nespresso. I think I needed to descale it, but it's not letting me do that. So, I'm gonna stop doing that and get in my like work productive vibe. I have candles going, I'm gonna play Christmas jazz, and I'm gonna get to editing some videos. So, hope you guys enjoyed this morning routine vlog. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.